Hi everyone, in this video, we'll discuss how to insert a node in a sorted circular linked list. So we are given a random node of a circular linked list which is sorted in ascending order. We need to insert a node into the list such that it remains a sorted circular list. Let's take an example. So we are given this linked list which has four nodes 1, 3, 4 and 8. So here we can see that after 8, we again go back to the node 1. So next of 8 is 1. So there is a circle here. So that is why it is known as a circular linked list. It is sorted in ascending order. So you can see that the node values are 1, 3, 4 and 8 which are sorted. So we are given a random node. So here we are given a pointer to node 3. And here we need to insert 6 into this node. So the output for this linked list will be 6 will come after 4. So we need to find the appropriate location at which we can insert the new value. Let's take one more example. So in this linked list, we are given a pointer to node 9 and we have to insert value 4. So location for 4 will come between 2 and 5. So the output for this linked list will be 2 will point to this new value 4 then 4 will point to 5 and then 6, 9, 20 and 35. So it's not necessary that we are given the first node. So we will be given the pointer to any node of the linked list. So because this is a circular linked list, so we can reach to any node from that pointer. We need to find the appropriate location at which we can insert the new node so the linked list remains sorted. Let's see how we can do this. So in this example, we are given a pointer to node 9. So let's consider the various possible cases that can be there. So one possible case can be that we are inserting the value between the linked list. So let's say we are inserting value 4. So 4 will come between 2 and 5. So the first case can be, let's say we are inserting 4. Second case can be, we are inserting the value at the end of the linked list. So let's say we are inserting value 40. So why this is special case is because 40 will come after 35, but next of 35 is pointing to 2. So in this case, the next value is smaller than 35. So when we were inserting 4, so 4 was greater than 2, but less than 5. But when we are inserting 40, so for 40, it is greater than 35, but it is also greater than 2. So it is greater than the previous and the next value. Third case can be we are inserting the value at the front of the linked list. So let's say the value we are inserting is 1. So in this case, 1 is less than the previous node which is 35 and it is less than the node before which we are inserting. So 1 is also less than 2. So basically, when we are inserting in the sorted circular linked list, given a random pointer, we will face these three cases. If you were just given a pointer to the node 2, then it would have been simpler because we know that all the nodes are in increasing order. But here, since we are given a pointer to any random node, there will be some nodes which are greater than it. So in this case, 20 and 35 are greater than it. And the nodes 2, 5 and 6 are less than the head. So to handle these scenarios, we have to take care of these three cases. So the first scenario is the key that we are inserting is greater than previous. So here 4 is greater than 2 and it is less than the current value. So what we'll do is we'll keep track of two pointers previous and current and the value that we are inserting is key. So in the first scenario key is greater than previous and less than current. And the second scenario is that key is greater than previous and previous is greater than current. So when we are inserting 40, so for 40 previous is 35 and current is 2. So 40 is greater than 35 and 35 is greater than 2. So by this statement we are handling case number 2 and to handle case number 3 when we are inserting at the front of the linked list. So there the scenario is that key is less than current 
and previous is greater than current so in this case previous will be 35 and 35 is greater than current which is 2 so by these three scenarios we are finding the appropriate location at which we can insert the new key so we'll just traverse from the random node that we are given we'll keep track of two pointers previous and current so if at any point one of these three conditions become true then that is the location at which we have to insert the new node let's see the pseudo code for this so let's say we are taking care of the case number one so we are inserting a new node which is four so we'll create a new node four we'll keep track of two pointers previous and current so previous points to head and current points to head next so previous comes here and current comes at 20. So we'll keep traversing until the current pointers reaches back to head. That means we'll traverse all the nodes once. Then we just check if we have found the location. So to find the location, we'll check all these three conditions. And then we'll keep moving previous and current by one node. So previous is currently at 9 and current is at 10. In the next iteration, previous will come at 20 and current will come at 35. In the next iteration, next of 35 is 2. So current will come at 2 and previous will come at 35. We'll again check this location found condition. So it will be false. And in the next iteration, current will come at 5 and previous will come at 2. So now if we check this location find condition, the first condition will be true. So in the first condition, we are checking that if key is greater than previous well. So key is 4. So 4 is greater than or equal to previous well, which is 2. And key which is 4 is less than or equal to current well, which is 5. So the first condition is true. So the location found will be true. So, so we'll break out of this while loop. And then we'll connect previous next to new node. So previous next means next of 2 will point to 4 and new node next will point to current so next of 4 will point to 5 and, and will return the pointer to head which is at 9 so the linked list will become 2 4 5 6 9 20 and 35 now let's check the second scenario in which we are inserting the node 40 so the key is 40 now so previous points to 9 and current points to head next which is at 20 and we are inserting node 40 so the new node is 40 we come inside the while loop and we'll move previous and current by one node so current comes at 35 and previous comes at 20 in the next iteration we again check these three conditions so these will be false so we'll move previous and current by one node so previous comes at 35 and current comes at so now when we check this location found condition, so now this second condition will become true because the key is 40. So 40 is greater than previous, which is 35 and previous is 35, which is greater than current, which is 2. So in this case, the second condition is true. So we'll break out of this for loop and now we'll connect previous next to new node. So next of 35 will point to 40 and next of 40 will point to current which is 2 so here we have inserted 40 at the last of the linked list now let's take one more example of the third scenario where we are inserting node 1 so previous points to 9 current points to 20 we'll come into this while loop and we'll keep moving previous and current until the location found condition is true so current comes at 35 and previous comes at 20 in the next iteration, current comes at 2 and previous comes at 35. Now at this position, condition number 3 becomes true. So condition number 3 is that key is less than current well. So key is 1, which is less than current well, which is 2. And previous well is 35, which is greater than current well, which is 2. So in this scenario, the condition number 3 is true. So the while loop will terminate. And will connect previous next to new node so next of 35 will point to the new node 1 and next of 1 will point to current which is 2 
so here we have inserted one at the beginning of the linked list so there were three separate scenarios that needed to be handled to insert the node in the sorted circular linked list so by checking these three conditions separately we have found the appropriate location for the key to be inserted now there is one edge scenario that we would need to handle when the linked list is null if the linked list is null then we can simply insert a new node so let's say we are inserting a new node 2 and the next of 2 will point to itself so we can have an if condition here that if head is equal to null just return the new node after pointing new node to itself so once we have understood the algorithm let's have a look at the implementation all the source code that I'll be showing is available in my GitHub repository, link of which is present here and as well as in the description. Now let's have a look at the code. So in the main function, first I create the linked list. So I've created the linked list 2, 5, 6, 9, 20 and 35 and I've pointed next of 35 to node 2. So here my head is pointing to node 9 and I pass this head to this function circular sorted insert where I pass the head and the value 4 to be inserted. In this function circular sorted insert, I first create a new node with the value key. I check if the head is pointing to null. That means the linked list is empty. So I point the next of new node to itself and I return the new node. If the linked list is not empty, I create two pointers previous and current. Then I traverse the linked list until the current pointer reaches back to head. I check all the three conditions. And if at any point any of the condition becomes true, I break out of the while loop. So once I break out of the while loop, I now have the position at which the new node needs to be inserted. So I point the previous next to new node and new node next to current and I return the head of the linked list. And in the main, I print the linked list. Let's see the output of this program. So since we were given the pointer to 9, so the linked list was 9, 20, 35, 2, 5 and 6. After we insert 4, the linked list becomes 9, 20, 35, 2, 4, 5 and 6. So we inserted 4 between 2 and 5. So this problem is also available on lead code as question number 708 insert into a sorted circular linked list. I have pasted the same code here and it is success. So that was all for this video. If you like my content, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me. To make more such content and until next time this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.